What's up guys, Pop Rossi talking ball cards. Um, just got a PSA order back. Also, I uh, just got back from the National. That was a blast. I, uh, I had so much fun and uh, thank you to everyone who I got to hang out with and spend time with. I had a fun time with you. It was, uh, you know, it was great. I, I had a good time. The show was fun, made some cool pickups. This actually uh, got shipped back just before I left for the National. So anyways, uh, this was a vintage special. I think it was like 14 or 15.99. Um, and it's about 20 cards. Uh, took um, like the better part of four months. So still, you know, disgustingly slow for vintage. Uh, maybe a little faster than past years, but here we go. We'll get into it. <clears throat> Up first, we got a William McCovey rookie. Uh, this one got a VG3. And that's about right. You can see here, pretty big crease that runs down the side there. So almost all of these are going to be for sale. Um, Dick Williams, uh, low-end Hall of Famer, but he got a six. Uh, I feel that's about right. Uh, let's see here. Um, RBI leaders. Gets a five. All these grades, um, albeit, you know, took a while to turn around. All these grades to me uh, seemed about right. So, um, you know, I usually call it like I see them with PSA or any other uh, grading companies. And um, I think they, for the most part, they got everything right with this sub. I'll tell you if I disagree with anything. Um, here's a near mint seven on a tough 1962 tops. Uh, this is the Dodgers team card. Um, and to get a seven from this set is not trivial. Uh, it has some corner wear and whatnot, but gets the seven. Uh, let's see, 1960, oh, sorry, 1970 tops, Reggie Jackson. Uh, sorry, let me make an adjustment here. This gets a six. And, um, you know, people talk about SGC going being easier or whatnot with vintage. Um, I just, you know, I don't think that's the case. It depends, I should say. Um, I'm like, I'm trying to find the flip, but I can't find it. Oh, there it is. This was an old, old, old SGC 5.5. And... Um, Anyways, got a six. So you, you have to remember, um, for those of you that don't grade a lot of vintage cards, cards uh, PSA has by far the loosest centering standards. Um, and so the centering really comes into play with vintage cards. So if you have an off-center card that's sharp, that's a good PSA candidate. Um, centered vintage cards do really well with SGC. SGC favors those cards that are centered. Um, just a FYI, if you ever plan on doing vintage grading, this is a pretty a pretty off-center 71 tops Namath. Um, this was in an SGC 5, I believe. So anyways, I knew this would be a better candidate for PSA. So yeah, Broadway Joe gets that. It gets a six there. Let's see, another Reggie. The iconic 78 tops. Spinning, <laughs> spinning himself into the ground, just swinging himself out of his shoes, <laughs> out of his cleats. Uh, anyways, gets a seven. Cool, iconic card there. Uh, here's another Jack, another uh, Reggie. This one gets an eight. Um, yeah, this one had some pretty considerable kind of like print defect miscoloration on the front there, but still worthy of an eight. Uh, Willie Mays, 67, gets a five. Happy with that. It's OC. But yeah, five on the Willie. RIP, uh, really sad when we lost him. But uh, he had a great, great run. Um, let's see, 78 tops. OJ. <clears throat> Gets an eight. <laughs> the juice. 
that's a pretty good grade there. That's, uh, the, some of those are tough. Uh, Marichal's Rookie. Short print. Very nicely centered. Um, I might keep this example because I don't have this card. Um, yeah, very sweet. Let's put that up here. Uh, another Willy. This is his 1960 tops. VGEX4, and yeah, that's about right. Decent color here on this example. That one will definitely be for sale. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Joe Torre, rookie. That left border is just barely there. Just barely holding on, but good enough to get a four. Um, back, the back is centered in a similar fashion. But yeah, four there. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Lou Brock. Um, his rookie, his star rookie here, uh, gets a five and yeah, that's about right. I mean, for that top to bottom centering, that's, that's about as good as you could do. Um, so yeah, five, which is, again, I think pretty fair. I don't really have any major disagreements when, with any of these card grades. Uh, 63 astronauts. I just, I picked this up out of like a, a vintage dollar box. Um, not at the national, but, uh, at another show. And I just thought this was cool. John Glenn. That gets a six. Uh, let's see here. Hammer and Hank is 61 tops. Uh, gets a two and that's about right. Um, there's this there's this heavy wrinkle there. It, it, I mean, it, it's it's a crease, really. I mean, it's on the front and the back. So um, appropriately graded there, but a nice example for someone. Gonna go into their collection. Um, this one was kind of a surprise. So there's all this kind of like print defect up here. Not sure what's going on. Um, there's also this discoloration here. And so I was thinking this would be like a five or a six. This is Rod Carew's second year card. They just they just completely disregarded the back, gave, just off the front, gave it a seven. And as I mentioned earlier about PSA having the loosest centering standards, I mean, it just, I mean, you be the judge. If, you know, that's left to right, that's pretty close to uh, like 80-20. But um, the PSA standard allows for up to up to 75.25. So this border can be three times as thick as that border and still be eligible for a seven. And that's about the case here. It's on the extreme end, but it still gets a seven. So um, yeah, I, I'll probably hold on to this. This was a eBay pickup. That's a pretty nice card. Um, I'll, put, I'll throw up some prices where it makes sense. Uh, this was one, another one I was really happy with. 72, Willie uh, gets a six. I had a lower grade example of this card. And um, anyways, I sold that when I picked this one up. The only thing, uh, I think, can you see it with the lighting? There's this, there's this indentation that runs from the top border. Can you see it? It goes top border kind of down into the card there. Uh, obviously not enough to knock it off a six, but so w with that indent in there, I was expecting a five, but got a six. That's great. Um, last card, uh, strikeout leaders featuring Koufax, uh, Koufax, Bunning, and, uh, Bob Bill gets a seven. So happy with that. Uh, this was, a, this was a raw pickup. You know, it had the faintest, faintest wrinkle on the back, and PSA just missed it. Um, these days, you know, it, it with an order like this, it, it appears to me that they're just grading it based on just eye appeal and how the cards looked, um, kind of overlooking a number of technical issues on this order on a couple of different cards. But anyways, I, I, no real complaints. They were better than they usually are on their vintage orders. So no rejections as well, which was 
which is uh, quite unusual for a vintage PSA reveal. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick vintage reveal. Until next time, Paparazzi, talking ball cards. Out of here.